Hello, viewers. <laughs> this movie you're about to watch is a gospel movie. And I believe that it's going to bless your soul and minister life into your lives. But please, hold on a minute. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell. Like and share. Do it now. Do it now, please. If you do that, you have encouraged us. Subscribe. Like and share. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Happy watching. She's not worth it. Can you imagine? <laughs> imagine what? Hey! I also have a mother. Damn hey. it. Mark me run the phone. I'll call my mother. Hey, Mary. Hey, uh, don't mind that. She's just ranting. Just ranting. Mommy, honestly, I'm mad. Mommy. A witch. She's a witch. Ha, a witch. Mommy. Nothing mommy. but a witch. Yeah. My husband is treating me for my mother. I don't know. I joined by me! <laughs> Mommy, you know what my husband is doing? Ufi <laughs> Ajeni, I am suffering in this house. I thought I had a man. Shay, imagine. This man is not treating me right. I and I will never take this in this house. I will say that of this And I am suffering in this house. If I don't do this, give me in my in my in my house. Mommy, I am, this I am is also my house. I, I am not a slave. Hello, mommy. I will not take this anymore. I am leaving this house. Honestly, house I'll say I what? Send me away. You're not sending me away, oh. Mommy, I'm not sure. I will call you back, man. What are you doing? What are you nonsense. trying to do in this house? Nonsense. Look at you. Look no, at you. Look, 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 look at you. Look at you. I don't even know what I saw in you. I do not believe really? you. Honest, like, don't. Uh, let me start from you, Pastor Kesh. Yes, sir. How did you meet your wife? It was the day I graduated from the seminary. I got carried away. It's fine. I, I can see the joy of the Lord in your face. So that's that's how you you met your wife. No, sir. No. Um yes. Well um that was there for so. Okay. Uh, we, we didn't meet. We I only saw. Okay, yes. I see. Okay, let me ask my question again. All right, so how did you meet your beautiful wife? <clears throat> well, uh, it was a day of great encounter. I was invited somewhere out of town to minister. In fact, that day I went through a lot on that journey. I, my car broke down like almost three times. Mm. It was a very hectic journey. But I just perceived that it was one of the gimmicks of the devil to, you know, deprive God's people 
of what God has in stock for them through my ministration. I was actually tenacious about it. I mean, about going there. Yeah, yeah. And um, to the glory of God, I got there. So before my time to minister, it was announced by the program moderator. Praise the Lord! Yeah. Now, people of God, let's welcome the great anointed sister as it is time to be blessed by her song ministration. Please put your hands together for Sister Naomi. He said they love me, I heard you from my name. And they show the love you fill my heart with joy. Oh, you take my heart, I give it to you. It belongs to you. You have taken over me. There is nothing you cannot do. You will never do it. Hey, I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty word. Mountain will not be over. Oh, you are my living God. There is nothing. There is nothing you cannot do. What's a God breaker? There is nothing you cannot do. You will never do You say that I am the one you have been looking for And then you change my name You wipe away my tears off And you hold me around me This love is so fine What can I say? I love you It was heaven on earth. I got lost by the beauty of an angel in form of a woman. I was glad that fate has finally brought us together. So that very day after the program, when I got home, mm. I couldn't hold myself again. I mean, this the the picture of this beauty you know, kept coming back to me, and so I summoned the courage. How do I go about this? Oh, Pastor Zach, Pastor Zach. Hello, Pastor Zach. Oh, Pastor Cash, thanks for today's ministration, sir. We really appreciate it. About that, see, all the glory belongs to God. You see, Pastor Zach, there's something I really need to talk to you about. I, I, I need a help from you. Yeah? In, in short, I need somebody's number. Oh, really? And whose number is that, Pastor?
is calling my phone? Who could this be? Hmm. Oh, that's the case. Okay. So, did you guys let her meet? Something important I need to discuss with you. Okay. Um, so now me, I need to let you know this that um, ever since the last time you ministered at the church, you know, I mean, there's this kind of attraction. I, I don't know. You know, it was it was an angelic ministration. People were caught up in the third heavens, you know, having encounters with God. You know, everywhere was spirit filled. And I, you see that you're a very spiritual sister. God bless God. Bless and honestly, I don't mind, you know, I, I, I don't mind knowing you more because, you know, something struck in me that you are my wife and, well, you know, I, I don't know if it's rude or something, but um, would you please be my Mrs. Cash? Interesting. So, what was your reply? Reply, Kim. I couldn't even reply. Because he has a very bad person skills. How? I'll be worrying with those things in my life. So, you mean you did not give him any reply, Daddy? No, no. Although, he's handsome and not dead. He's very presentable now. When I got home that night, I had a lot of thoughts about it that deprived me from my sound sleep. <laughs>
As I was busy making something, then I realized I really need to speak to someone. Hello, babe. Hello? Sis, hello? Hello, can you hear me? Are you there? Naomi, can you hear me? I'm in a night, VG. I will talk to you tomorrow. Ah, good. Okay. Let me call Esther. Oh, she sleeps too much. Okay. I'll call you, I'll call you later right now. That's just the thing I can do. Hello, Naomi. Hello? Hello, how what's up? How are you? Hello, Naomi. Are you sleeping already? No, sis. I just concluded my night prayer. Oh, I couldn't call me to join. Wait, why are you calling me by this time? Are you alright? I've been having a troubled night. Troubled night? That's unlike you. Do you want to talk about it? Actually. Confused. It is well. But let me ask you an important question. Go ahead. Do you like this person? I don't know. That's why I called. I'm so confused. Do you know what? I think the I think the best thing to do is to pray about it. Yes, I know. I know it's important to pray about it. But please don't keep me waiting, please. You will have to wait. Because all I can also do is to wait on the Lord for reply. Moreover. Her Lord is not a quarter of confusion. Mm. Alright. I will also pray more for me. Mm? Okay. Have a good day. So, were you able to hear from God? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After many weeks of waiting, I received the go ahead from the Lord, which I told him about it. Then we decided to make a big step, which was checking our genotype. And it revealed that we are compatible. I am AA -A and he is AS. Good. That is very good. So, after all that, what next? I now pronounce you man and wife.
Ah, baby, honestly, I love you. I love you. When the pastor was saying that, um, I do, I do, I do, I was like, I was going to say, I do a thousand times. Honestly, I really thank God. Wow. I can't believe I am now Mrs. Keshiro, the wife of the renounced pastor. Eh? <laughs> oh, no. I am actually the luckiest man on earth right now. I tell you. The reception was awesome. You need to say, oh, like we, and all of them were dancing. I mean, I was just looking at them. Yeah. You got to the point where I have to, I have to ask myself, people told my wedding or our wedding. She really danced. Oh, mom. Oh. <laughs> Serious man, <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> babe, I love it. Sir. You understand? Tonight is Dubai. <laughs> Leave me for now. I'm tired. Bro. I know. Hmm. I can see you both have perfect marital life. Perfect, okay? If it has been perfect, we wouldn't be here. Oh, I see. <laughs> what is the matter? Thank you, Mr. Counselor. This pastor Keshu that is sitting here has made my life a little bit. Ah! Mm. Mew. See the wicked trying to play the victim here? Don't ever call me wicked. In fact, you're wicked. You're a wizard. Ah! Mm. You're a shameless woman. Don't... I mean, you, you've lost regard for everybody, including yourself. Uh, um, um, Mr. and Mrs. Um, Keshiro, this is not allowed here, okay? Pastor Keshiro, what happened? this since morning can you imagine Am I sure there's a woman in this house? Naomi! Naomi! No, like, is he, she not in this house again? Yes, dear. How did you return? Did you just call me by my name? So, madam? What name should I have called you? 
what happened to our sweet names? Sweet names? Sweet names are for sweet homes. I mean, look at everywhere now. The same way I left them when I was going to work this morning. I mean, it's obvious that you never laid your hands on any house chores. Why? Honey, I am so sorry. Ah, when I was tired and I couldn't sleep all night because of John. So when he left for work, I went to the kitchen. Then, John started crying again. So I had to go and breastfeed him. And I'm sorry. Just, just, just shut that thing you call mouth. Just shut up! I mean, I ain't nonsense. Uh -uh. Me? Yes, you. Can you listen to yourself? I mean, what exactly is the job I gave you in this house? I even asked you to stop your normal secular job just to take care of our son and to do the house chores. Mr. Man. Wait, wait, wait. Have you forgotten I'm not a slave in this house? And who is talking about slavery? Oh. I mean, you're just dirty and that's a big sign that you're a sinner. No, my Bible tells me in James chapter 4 verse 17, it says, He who knows what to do and does not do it, to him it's a sin. I mean, how could you expect the Holy Ghost to live with us in this dirty environment? Or better still, if I had to be coming into this house with some of our fellowship members or church members and they meet the house in, this, in such a disarray, what do you want them to think about you? I mean, Mrs. Kesh, you know, the beautiful woman out there, so dirty inside. Oh, Even though you dress so so nice outside. No. Has he got into that? Honey! Honey! Oh, no, no. Honestly, I don't know how a woman can be so dirty and unclean like, like she is. Ah. Yes. A pastor's wife for that matter. I mean, what if it's a church member who came to report his wife? Hmm. What advice would she have given to such a person? Uh, uh, Pastor Keshiro, please calm down. I can see you are very angry. Eh? Mrs. Keshiro. Yes, sir. With all your husband has said, if I may ask, what do you have to say? Mr. Counselor, a day before the day he was talking about. No, like, is it my job to do the chores or my job to take care of the baby? Which one of them? Because I don't understand. And at least you're not blind. You can see that I'm busy. Very busy. Busy doing what? Because I don't understand. It's not as if you, you render any assistance in this house. And you're just sitting there. At first, though, you were there. You were on a long video call. It's, I don't know, probably brush or not. And now you are sitting there watching this TV. When me, your wife needed your help. Remember this. I am not a slave in this house. Is that No. Did you hear that? Did you hear a song crying? <laughs>
I walked all day without any form of support for my husband. Then the next day, I was so tired that I couldn't even prepare what I would eat. Can you imagine? No, like, did you listen to yourself? I mean, what's the job in that house? So, until I do the house chores, I mean, sweep the floor, bait for John or something, is that when you're going to regard me as a supportive husband? Mr. Kansalo, please let me ask her, does she work? You told me not to. Yes, I told you not to. And then I, I still provide for everything. In fact, I make sure I provide for everything in the house. I pay all the bills and even pay your own personal bills. Yeah. And now, you're saying I'm not supportive. Yes. Um, Pastor Keshiro, relax. Relax, okay? <laughs> Mrs. Keshiro. Yes, sir. See, I understand your point. But I will not want you to fight for your right in the wrong way. See, let me show you something in the Bible. I want to show you the word of God from the book of Ephesians chapter 5. From verse 22. All right. Verse 22. Says, wives, submit yourself unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Listen to verse 23. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Now, verse 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in every day. Mrs. Keshiro, your own submission will make your husband to love you. If you don't submit to your husband, don't expect him to love you. Listen to me. If you honor, respect, and appreciate your husband, you will not raise your voice at him at all. And I want you to know that the society or part of the world we belong to had made us to understand that women in the house does all the house chores. And even if you want your husband to help you in any way, it has to come wrapped in, a, in, in humility and respect. Not by force. Because many Christian homes are breaking today because the wives are in logger eggs with the husband. Claiming equal rights. I hope you get me. So, Mrs. Keshiro, I want you to honor adore and respect your husband as fault. Hmm. Pastor Keshiro. Colossians chapter 3 verse 19. Husbands, love your wives and do not be bitter against them. If you love your wife, she wouldn't have to, you know, to beg you to help her in the house. Of course, you are the head of the family. You are the man of the house. But it is not all the time that you will be claiming your right every time. If you are claiming right in your home all the time, the sheep of that home, I mean of that marriage, is about to sink. So, Pastor Keshe, please, henceforth, stop seeing her as your wife alone. See her as your partner, the wife of your youth, the one you once loved, you know. And uh, can I shock you? There is something I love about this marriage. Honestly, I love that so much. 
And what is it? Is the husband a pastor? The wife, a music minister. How awesome will it be whenever you gather together to minister? Eh? Power and the presence of God that will fill the auditorium. Ha! Ah. Ah. Since when? Excuse me. Mr. Pansel, is he asking? He has stopped me from attending the administration a few weeks after the wedding. He told me he's not in support of the ministry I'm into. Ah. He has stopped me since a long time, asking me to take after the home. <laughs> Pastor Cash, is that so? Mr. Council, this is what really happened. Honey, I am set to. Why did you set for where? The administration. What are they preparing for? Look, honey, please sit down. We need to talk. I'm already late now. Look, um, this is your music ministry. I'm not in support of it. Honestly, and you must put an end to it. I want you to please concentrate on this marriage. Honey, are you pulling my legs? Do I look like I'm pulling your legs? Please. See, this is my calling now. My ordained ministry. I beg, don't do me alone. Do I look like a joke to you? Woman, my decision is final. Hmm? Please, babe, don't do this to me. Only, only wait. Ah, sister Naomi, I'm highly disappointed. This will be the first time you would disappoint me, and I'm highly disappointed. When we invited you for this program and you know you will not be able to make it, why didn't you just tell us? You are a Christian now. Eh? A Christian should not lie. Eh? Not just a Christian. A whole song minister. Can you imagine? People were expecting you that they will bless through your ministration and you fumbled. You flopped everything. Okay, Shiro. Sure. According to what you said earlier, what got you attracted to your wife is the talent and the grace of God upon her life. In fact, you fell in love with that. I mean, I mean, it's real. Uh, well, <coughs> that's exactly my point. And I think at this junction, I, I should not hide anything. My wife is so gifted and talented. Mm. You need to hear her sing. Her voice sounds like an angel. So please, reason with me. If I should allow her to go on with such a ministry, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, considering the fact that I won't be following her around for administration. Mm. Okay, okay. Mm. If I get you correctly, sir. Yes. Your fear is that what got you attracted to her might get someone else I think you understand me now. <laughs> ah! So you start my ministry because of this? <laughs> Pastor Keshiro! Will you just shut ah. up? <laughs> just shut up! No! Say pot, call it get to black. Mm. So now you want to play the victim, right? It's just good. Okay. How many do you need? Would that be enough? You know what? I'm going to send the one I have now. Then probably on Monday I'll send you one. Okay, okay. I'll send you now. Thank you. Honey. Yes. Do you still have 
Mr. Gringa's account number. I need to send him something. Mm, you can check it. Oh, I've seen it. me now why I mean you know that I have to be at the church headquarters for administration tonight why are you behaving like an agent of darkness give me my keys oh I am not giving you your key like I said earlier until you tell me who this prostitute is <sighs> okay check her name on I, I mean her name should be on the message her name is not on the message and how else do you want me to know her name how I mean I've not even seen this message you are shouting about I have the one shouting now. I am not giving you this phone or this key. I don't even know if you are going to the lady at tonight's PJ. But I told you to tag along. You said you cannot go because of our son's health. See, that's just an excuse. You are not leaving this house. And are you commanding me in my own house? Look, look at the woman I paid her bright price. Eh? Bright price? Have you forgotten my parents returned the bright price to you? Telling you they are not selling their daughter. <laughs> that means it's returning. Now I see that you have a short memory. So, have you also forgotten about the 82 bars of yam? About the four kegs of palm oil? And the four kegs of granite oil? And all other things, including the wine and the drinks? You're a shameless man. Oh. You know my parents house? Abby, mm. go back there and ask for your phone. Around your time. Give me my key. No, never! You're joking. Ha, ah, now me. Is this not getting too much? What exactly is wrong with you and your marriage? Stella. I am tired. I am so tired. I've tried all I could to make this marriage work for me, but babe, it's not working. Stop crying, stop crying, babe. Thank Please, you. It's okay. Thank you, sis. But wait, oh, are you sure you prayed about it before going for this marriage? I sure did. I did. And did you hear from the Lord? Yes, I heard from the Lord. Clearly, in fact. It is well. It is well. You see, all I can see in all that has been happening. All oh, what you have been saying is jealousy. Jealousy? Yes! But sir, loving my husband and trying to protect my marriage should not be tamed as jealousy. Mr. Counselor, I did all I did because I wanted to protect my wife from ungodly men out there. And I did that because I love her. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Love is a feeling of intense life for someone and jealousy comes from the fear of losing what you love that is what i am saying here because you have allowed fear of losing each other in your heart this is what is bringing to you it's causing you so many things in the home excuse me i am seeing five grades of the level of immaturity in this place. Yes. As a man, you have to know about spiritual maturity, financial maturity, emotional maturity, physical maturity, and mental maturity. Sure, you understand? And this is what both of you are lacking. You have allowed jealousy to eat you up to the extent that you are, you are not seeing correctly. You are not seeing rightly. 
What is good for your family anymore? The book of James chapter 3 verse 16, according to Good News Translation says, Where there is jealousy and selfishness, there is also disorder and every kind of evil. Mr. and Mrs. Keshiro, oh, you have allowed jealousy to eat you up and then, ah, it's causing you great deal. Hmm. Watch it. Because love covering all sins. Stop picking fault in each other. You stopped your wife from working for God. And she did the same thing out of jealousy. Hmm? There is one thing that matters most, especially in Christian marriage, and that is trust. And obviously, there cannot be trust where there is no love. Mr. and Mrs., you need to start loving yourself over again. And things will start working well again. And Mrs. Keshiro, for the fact that you heard the voice of God giving you go ahead, does not mean there will not be problems. It is because you are not prepared for it. <sighs> Don't forget that we are all human. And the only thing that can strengthen our marriage is prayer. Pray personally and together on the prayer altar. Pastor Keshiro, you have a lot to do as the head of, family, of the family in making this time. And God will help you. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Counselor. Really appreciate this. You're welcome. You're welcome. And lastly, Mr. and Mrs. Keshiro, I hope you have not been involving a third party in this, in this matter. Mm. <laughs> Mommy, so now I understand the reason why they have to take back their, their they have to return the bread price. Yes, now, because it's useless. I mean, she's not worth it. Can you imagine? <laughs> imagine what? Hey, I also have a mother. Ramja. Mark, I'm sorry. I'll call my mother. Hey, I'm married. Hey, uh, don't mind that. She's just ranting. Just ranting. Mommy, honestly, I'm married. Mommy. A witch. She's a witch. Ha, a witch. Mommy. Nothing mommy. but a witch. Ah, my husband is treating me for my mother. I don't know. Hey, Joyce, by me. Mommy, you know what my husband is doing? Ufi, I Jenny. I am suffering in this house. I thought I had a man. Shay, imagine this man is not treating me right, I and I will never take this in this house. I will send her out of this house. And I'm suffering in this house. This cannot do this to me, man. In my, 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 my heart, I am. This is also my heart. I, I am not a slave. Hello, mommy. I will not take this anymore. I am leaving this house. Honestly, I'll send her. What? Tell me the truth. Send me away. You are not sending me away, oh. Mommy, mama, she should be a better at home. I will call you back, man. What are you? What are you trying to do in this house? Nonsense. Look at you. Look at you. No, look, 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 look at you. Look at you. I don't even know what I saw in you. I do not really <laughs> know. Honestly, I don't. You see, most times, involving a third party could be really dangerous. They could be friends, family member, co workers, or whoever. The Bible says, and the two shall become one. You don't know if the person you are you are involving in your matter is jealous of your marriage. You don't know. Maybe somebody who is who is eyeing your marriage like ah, how I wish this man is mine, how I wish this woman is mine. I didn't think they will give you a very good advice now. Fine, but the reverse is the case. So you should watch it. Watch the, the, the person you will, you, you will allow in your, in your marriage. Stop third party interference. We should not suffer in silence. God is the founder of homes and it should be involved in any matter concerning the family. Meanwhile, I am not saying having mentor it's not good. It is very, very good. But it has to be done through the leading of the Holy Spirit. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. But please, don't misquote me. 
any marriage where there is physical abuse, one should not suffer in silence. But anyone they bring in should come to help, restore, and be a blessing, not to take over the home. Hmm. Yes, sir. And thank you so much, Mr. Counselor. Thank you for saving our marriage. You've been a blessing ever since um, we have um, started this session with you. Glory to Jesus. Exactly, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Honey, I'm sorry for everything I've done. I'm sorry. Well, I'm also very sorry. Okay. Mm. And I promise you that from now, everything will go on well. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That's wonderful. God bless you. Amen. And don't forget to always put God first. Mr. and Mrs. Keshiro, that will be the end of the session. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, sir. For those that are laid by the Spirit of God, be in the sons of God. Uh -huh. I think you can we do this? Oh. This is returning. Mm. I know you have a, a short memory, and you also you are forgotten about the 82 by your two bars of yam, and you also you are forgotten about the 82 bars of yam, the four kegs of palm oil, palm oil, the four kegs of granite. Ah, <laughs> 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 okay, let's begin again. Let's begin again. I don't think this house is uh, dead. I don't even know what I saw in you in the first place. You know what? I regret marrying you. I wish I never married you. Say another thing. Regret marrying you. Say another thing. Regret marrying you. Say another thing. I love it. <laughs> In fact, my wife is gifted what, and extremely okay. okay. Pick up. Pick up, baby. Yes, yeah. sir. Action. Emma, I wrote that. Who did it too? I'm very sorry, sir. Okay. 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 okay.